Okay, so this is backbending level two. I'm going to assume before you've done level two, you've done level one. You've also done a warm up, you've done your core basics, and you've done your glute basics, which is essential for backbending. Always do the basics, always be warm, because your spine is fragile if you don't use it correctly. So, I'm going to do this on a sliding scale. If something's a level one, it's going to be quite easy. The higher the number, the more experience necessary. Don't know how many levels of backbending there will eventually be. As I discover new exercises, I'll keep adding them. As I discover better versions of old ones, I'll update them as well. So don't be surprised if it becomes a level 1, a level 1.1, a level 1.2, a level 1.2673. You know what I mean? It's my channel, so I can do what I want anyway. Um, so, backbending uh, level 2 is going to be our standing backbends and our standing drills. So if you're not comfortable with the standing backbend, wait for some variations to the, the level one stuff. Um, otherwise, let's start to give this a go. Nice and slow, if it's not for your body, give it a rest, come back to it later with more experience. Alrighty, so, stance. I like to go a bit wider than the hip, and I do just a slight turnout, okay? So don't start exaggerating this as like, this kind of, no. And also knees are just relaxed, not bent. Relax. So the difference is like you don't want to go for this kind of thing, right? No, no, no. I mean, just in general, I don't think you should ever be locking out your knees. So, slight turn now. When you're standing, the back bend is already beginning. So, tuck this line. We're going to get this nice and flat. We're going to start this neutral. Not here. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> Bad habits. So keep this this quite in. Stomach is not tense, but it has to be engaged. You don't want to be, be tight through anything. So what we're going to do is, as we're standing, we're going to try to think of having everything quite long, because then the back bend is going to go up and over, and then the last thing to release will be the lower back, and then the knees may bend softly as well, okay? So take it nice and slow. If you can't go all the way down to the ground, go as far as you can go comfortably to then return to standing. All right. So we're here. Kind of relaxed, everything's now engaged. We go up. And then we're down here. Alright, once you're here, move around a little bit, get a little bit comfortable, and then we want to go back up to standing and then back to neutral spine. Okay? So the back bend doesn't finish until you're back to a neutral spine. I guess that's an important thing to remember. Try to finish your moves because you want the spine to always want to return to like a nice neutral position. Okay? We'll do that again. I'm going to say three to five of these is a good number. Any more than five, and you're probably tying yourself too much. So, because there's a few exercises, try to just hit them effectively rather than being like, got to just keep doing this over and over again. That's also how injuries um, do start to happen when muscles are fatigued. Okay? So, let's go through that again. Hips a bit wider than hip width, slight turn out, knees soft, okay? And we're extending up, engaging most things, and we go up, 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 over. And once we're down, once we're down, we play around a little bit, move around, back and forth a little. If you want to do some little like walking, that's fine, we're just getting our bodies used to being in this sort of position. So like maybe like at least a 20 second hold is quite good. And then when we're ready, coming up, 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 and then back to neutral. Alright? Repeating two to five times. Once we've done that, we want to do standing to bridge. So I call that a back bend, which is going for that like trying to get your hands towards your feet kind of shape. This one is what I call a bridge. The back bend is the same, alright? Same sort of procedure. In, and we go up and in. The difference being once we're here, we're going to walk the hands out slightly, and using the legs, pushing through the shoulders. Keep that tummy nice and tight, and you can just rock back and forth. If you find that easy, you can walk the arms in. Repeat the process. Really trying to think about getting the chest towards the opposite wall. Head out of the stage. Rock back three to five times. 
Bring your feet in if you need to. Coming up, back to neutral spine, okay? Always back to neutral spine. Again, three to five times, any more than that, you're getting a little bit excessive. Once you're on those two, we're gonna take it to a wall for a standing wall stretch, and that will be the last exercise in our level two back bends. Optional, foam block, always not necessary. Find a wall. Wall. I'm gonna say stand this much away from the wall to begin. I'm going to then put my arms up so that my palms are flat, tummies in. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to bring my chest to the wall. All right, notice I'm not ramming the chin in. Keep the chin up. Really think about engaging that lower and then if you need to, move down. Keep the chin up. Knees soft, just relax here. The reason why I have the block this is a bit tricky on your own. <laughs> Block, chin, hands. But ideally, I want you to be able to do this with your own muscles, okay? I'm hoping it's hitting more of a mid-back. Again, your lower back is so good at like bending that you don't really need to be forcing that sucker. More advanced versions, so if you take quite a distance back from the wall, and have quite a big block. It turns into something like this. And then relax. Try to think about trying to keep as nice a curve as possible. It's sometimes difficult. If you're finding this really hard, if you're not used to opening your shoulders and upper back, this one sucks. You can go closer to the wall and just be higher up. Sometimes, you know, this might help. There's also a few drills I've seen people do where they try to then lift their arms off the wall. It's all about like engaging this bit of you and trying to like using that to really kind of pull up. All right? Um, repeat that. Same thing. Three to five. Less than three is probably not enough. More than five is getting a little bit much. And if you've done five standing back bends, five back bends to push out to a bridge, five of these, that's a pretty decent workout. And after that, your back should be warm enough to do some tricks. I have a bit of a controversial training method where I don't warm up for a huge amount of time. Like this, this for me would probably be my warm up. And then I use the first few repetitions of a trick as the extended warm up. And then when I feel like they're quite good, so I might do some like handstands where I'm in a contortion pose, but I won't go full out. And then by the end of the training session, then I'm going full out. Because I was finding if I do like an hour training session, that's too much for my back. So scaling it back to like just warming up what I need to, but focusing more on making sure that the core has been done, the glutes have been done, all those sorts of things, and a good like total body warm up. Um, I found a good balance there. So it's kind of about finding that balance between warming up your back and making your back tired. So if I'm gonna do one of my advanced handstand poses, if my lower back muscles are fatigued and my core is fatigued, when I go into this like big shape, I'm not gonna have the stability to then come out of it nicely and I'm probably not holding that nice shape. And also I, I find when I'm training, I try to stay away from my end range. So my end range is there as like a safety um, or like to be honest, I will sometimes crank it a little bit for a photo shoot or, or that like final trick in a show. But I try to treat my end range as like, don't go there unless it's really necessary. So you're saving your body just that little bit. And look, you might not, you know, you might miss out on grabbing that toe or getting that foot to your head just for a little bit. But during training, take it easy on yourself. There's no need to impress people while training. Um, shows are different, the rules can apply. And I might chat about those sort of things um, in a different video. But for now, let's leave it at that. That was backbend um, level two. Take it easy.